hi guys and welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in so today i'm going to be doing a thrift clothing haul um and this is going to be a try on haul so it's been a hot minute since i did one of these i used to do and i will link them below i used to do um charity shop clothing hauls before but um it's been a hot minute i gained weight lost weight i gained weight and then clothes went anything i was interested in anymore because i felt crappy in everything then <clears throat> i lost weight and i've gone back to charity shopping i've ma the majority of my wardrobe is actually like 95 percent thrifted stuff so i just wanted to share with you guys um I will be from now onwards sharing with you guys all my thrift hauls. I'm going to have another thrift haul next week, Tuesday. Um, the reason why I'm, I know I'm already going to have one is because I, th this thrift store would be long if I included both, um, whole, everything that I have in this one video, because it's been, it's been thrifted over a few days so i'm gonna split it into two videos and on tuesday i'm gonna share with you guys the other part like part two to this th thrift haul so <clears throat> let's get into the um items and i think all the items kind of have their price on it and if they don't i will maybe remember and let you know let, let let you guys know so anyway in no particular order the first thing i wanted to just get out of the way is um this trench coat like i say this is a try on haul so i'll be trying them on for you guys and i'll be showing you guys what how they fit me and stuff so this is a trench coat i've actually showed a trench coat in a thrift haul before that i got ages ago but i got rid of it when it no longer fit me when i was a little bit um bigger than this than i am now so this is um what i got lately this was a 10 pounds in the charity shop and usually that is kind of like the high end of charity shop for me but it's a really good leather jacket the shiny on camera isn't how it is it's not really shiny but it's like a really good leather jacket and the leather is very soft and not noisy um it's just like a nice leather sort of like um long leather jacket so that's the first thing that i got i really like that um i'll just be putting it here so that's the first thing that i got i really really like that the other thing that i got i am into a vintage lifestyle so my home is decorated in a vintage um where i do share homeware vintage um homeware vintage antique hauls with you guys every thursday so if that is something that you um are interested in um then every thursday i do sort of like vintage um inspired home decor and um just home stuff and in on thursdays is when i would do any haul that's uh thrifted home um decor and home stuff like kitchenware and stuff like that so I do have an interest I say all this to say that I do have an interest in like vintage stuff so whether it's clothes or shoes or anything if I see vintage items I'm always drawn to them and I always try to like wear them in a more modern way so this is a good example well this isn't any way that can be worn modern but I will wear it with my pyjama my pink pyjama bottoms um, when I'm just lounging at home this is like a a vintage um night um cardigan should i say yeah it's like this pink um and it's the details on it are pretty i want to show you guys yeah it's just pink and white and it's just really really pretty um it's by this brand it's basically made in britain um by that brand and it was 295 reduced to a pound right here so i got that for a pound um yeah i really like it and i'm excited to style it if you have been on my channel for a while if you haven't been on my channel if you haven't been on my channel for a while it would mean that if you haven't been on my channel for a while and this is your first time coming to my channel it would mean the world to me if you subscribed um i do 
fashion Tuesdays. So on Tuesday, in most of my style, anything that because 90% of my wardrobe is actually um, charity shop, it, you get to see um, what how I style the pieces that I have thrifted over the whole last year and this year what I'm thrifting. This you, you might have seen me, um, if you've been on my channel for a while, you must, might have seen this in a video that I did. I think it was an H&M haul um, a few weeks ago. I wore this because I've had this stuff. I was basically looking for a chance to like hold them. I've had them for quite a while and just keeping them so that I can actually hold them. Um, this was six pound fifty, and it was reduced. It was half price, so I got it for three twenty five. Um, and it's brand new. It had all its tags on it, and the only one downside to this, and the only reason that I got it is it was just because it was three pound. But I generally am very cautious and careful about the material of things that I'm buying. Um, I'm buying the stuff in, even when I charity shop. This is um, polyester, which I do again in charity shops. If it's anything three pounds and under, I will buy it if it's in polyester and I still really like it. I, I will buy that because that's a fair price for polyester. Um, so yeah, this is polyester and it is a very, it's on trend. It's like a trendy um, spring, summer. It's on trend for 2020 i did i also did a trend video um sharing with you the top 20 spring summer trends i told you guys in that video that um frills i can't speak today frills um and just sh um sort of high neck victoriana inspired um tops i didn't say in my trend video because i don't I don't I think it's a hard wear to pull off sheer is also in like the sheer fabric trend and this is quite a sheer top so yeah I um I'll be trying them on so I'll show you guys properly that's the second thing that I got I really like that that's the third thing that I got I really like that the other thing that I got is sunglasses I love them so um yeah and they're like tinted brown so i like those i got those for a pound as well um the other thing including this jewelry holder that i already hold a, a while ago in my um thrift haul homeware um haul i got this wooden that now goes on my dressing table just behind me um i also got a whole lot of jewelry that's another thing that i look for when i'm in a charity shop or a thrift store or a vintage store they always have like some cute um jewelry sometimes i always look at that so the first thing that i got is this watch and this watch is just sort of like a silver um i was gonna wear it but i already have the watch it's like a silver and gold so it's like a mixed metal watch and i really really liked it and i really like the fact that it's sort of like a bracelet watch so it's um like a bracelet you have to stretch it out to wear it and then like pin it back in to fit your arm size so i really like it um this is the first thing well this is one of the first jewelry pieces that i got the other thing that i got i love watches but i have I got this watch which is does me i really love this watch and i always wear this watch so i don't really need any more watches and i would only get a watch if it's really good in a charity shop and it's um at a reasonable price so the other one that i got is this one i don't really wear gold jewelry it's not my choice of jewelry i always feel like um silver is easier jewelry to wear so the majority of my jewelry if you have watched my um jewelry collection um video the majority of that of my jewelry collection is actually silver so um this is gold it's like a black gold watch that i got 
and I do need to replace the strap though because the strap is broken I got this for two or three pounds as well so that is and it's it's a really good brand watch and it's a really good um watch the other thing that I love to look at in charity shops and I always wear them and style them is brushes so I got a couple uh, I got three brushes um this is the first one it's just like a basket of flowers which again i'm looking forward to using this spring um it's like a mini basket of flowers and then i have a bird on like a black slate um one and then i have a pearl one i love pearl ones they're easier than everything else to wear even just thrown on a jumper um a neat they're just cute in winter when you can't show your necklaces and stuff they're basically a really good winter accessory even on like blazers i wear quite a few blazers so that's um something that i always look at in when i go into the charity shops so that's the um, um stuff in this little jewelry box that i got so that's that um on to the shoes i don't i while i thrift clothes there are certain wardrobe basics that i strongly believe you should buy full price and you should buy really good because not only are they what elevate your outfit like shoes i really believe like shoes are one of the most important thing in your outfit if you are uncomfortable in your shoes you look it and it kills an entire outfit if you can't walk in your shoes or if your shoes aren't right so there are certain things that i don't thrift and shoes are one of those things that I again only thrift if they are like up to three pounds, maybe three pounds fifty, four pounds sometimes. But I'm not I generally don't thrift shoes because I just like to pay full price and a really good trustworthy brand for shoes. But because this is such a trendy um shoe right now and I don't see how long I it's gonna stay in my wardrobe to be honest. But I wanted to play part in the trend. So these are, it, they are everywhere right now. Topshop Top has a version of them. And I love that this will be a little bit more unique. So they're just these um, flip-flop style um, shoes. And I really like them. They are also not horrible to walk in. You're not going to run runs in these, but they're definitely not a hard shoe to wear depending on within reason um i don't wear heels so i don't really wear a lot of heels i usually wear flats so these are okay for me they were 350 i um was happy enough to try those so that's um the shoes that i got and then another thing that i always look apart from scarves and like berets those are things i love to look at when i go into charity shops belts are another thing that i love and with when you charity shop belts it's so surprising i have belts in almost every every i can't speak i have belts in almost every color to fit um the clothes that i have like my color theme in my wardrobe i got a brown and a green one um on this thrift haul in this thrift haul i have all my belts i think are thrifted actually generally all my belts are thrifted i never pay full price for a belt and i never pay more than a pound for a belt so these were all a pound each and they're just brown and green green is my a wardrobe uh a color in my wardrobe so you see that um even in the haul i wear green i love emerald green this is like an emerald green um hunter green belt so those two belts are what i got and the detail on it is just absolutely beautiful so that's the other thing that i got and then i got this dress this is a size small and it is um brandless it has no brand i don't know where it's from but this was five pounds again i bought this because it um it fits nicely to start with and secondly it's um polka dot that's timeless and I don't have 
a lot of color in my wardrobe and this spring and summer I've been trying if you saw my H&M haul you might have thought that that's so unlike me because I usually wear neutrals but I'm trying to incorporate co uh, color and I think a way of doing it is to shop either sales or charity shop thrift haul um thrift shops so I like this dress it's polka dot it's open it's button is open to the front so you can in summer you can button it up to where you want and stop where you want um or button it the whole way at the top as well you can play around with it i'll show you in the try on how i'm wearing it but it is a true red polka dot dress love it and it's got hints of vintage um sort of vibes to it um this is probably one of my favorite things that i got in this whole this is from the disney store and it is a denim a, a denim shirt i want a true blue denim denim like a darker blue denim shirt because this is my second light wash denim shirt it fits like a dream i will show you how i'll be wearing it so i always love to do a denim on denim and i feel like the little disney characters like winnie the pooh and stuff they will be so good to break up the denim and i also love when tops are like this because i don't i won't have to worry too much about like accessorizing this top because i think the characters will do um the accessory talk so yeah this is one of my favorite things i will wear this a lot this spring and summer i know that um i have not been able to rest because i wanted to get this all done so that i can actually wash this and start wearing it so that's one of the other things that i got um the other thing that i got again if you have been on my channel for a while and you've kind of like seen my fashion videos in almost every fashion video if i'm not wearing it then i'm talking about a top like high neck tops i really like um sort of the victoriana like the previous one this one is a button down and it's got frills at the top i love the details of it um all the tops that i'm showing you in a size small extra small uh this is just frills look at the frills at the top but it's a button down another detail that i really love about this green shirt is that the um buttons are hidden so there's two um parts of the uh, fabric and the one has the buttons on and then this comes over so when you button them down you won't be able to see all the buttons which i really love i i don't love loud stand out buttons on shirts so um i really love that in the arm it's also basically just like the neck is and i really love them and then it has the details i'm thinking about changing those buttons to something quieter but i don't i don't know it looks really nice with the green belt because they have the same color hardware weirdly enough so i will think about taking off those buttons and replacing them with like maybe pearl green pearl um um buttons or something like that but for now i'm quite happy enough so that's the other top and then the other top that i got again victoriana high top high 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 neck um with frills but it's polka dot um it's blue so this is gonna look really good with blue jeans um i want to turn it the right way in oops Yeah, so this is the top and it's got bigish sleeves. Um, they stitch in, uh, they come just, you know, like at the end there, it's like that. And the ribbon, there's ties in the back here. There are like these ties that hold the sort of like the necktie that comes in the front. And you can tie it in a bow at the front. 
so there's those two ties that you can tie in the bow at the front that's the um other top that i got i'll show you guys like i said cutaways of all of these as i speak i'll be showing you them so that's the other top and then last but not least in this haul i got this for three pounds how much did i get the, that other top i think all the tops are sort of like three pound four pound that's generally how much i paid for them um this one was three pound and it is uh i i know it looks weird um but i think styled with denim this is going to actually look quite cute so it's got like a peachy um hand like not hand done but it's actually like an embroidered top i love the details on it i love the details in the arms it's this like scroll up type of detail it's cotton it's 100 percent cotton I love the color of it i think with jeans and styled right this top would be dragged into 2020 because it's quite granny but again granny chic is in in 2020 so that's what i got this top for um so that is the last thing in this haul that i got i hope you guys like this video and it gives you some inspiration or entertainment i will see you guys next tuesday with another thrift haul um video and thanks for tuning in i love you lots see you guys next week love you lots bye